All right, back at Arkea, um, we're talking about Hacktivist, which was a comic created by Alyssa Milano, I believe. Yeah. And then she handpicked some writers and colorists. This is Jackson, Colin, and then Ian colored it. Well, what is the idea behind Hacktivist? So um, Alyssa came up with the idea, uh, I think, initially because uh, of a closeness with Jack Dorsey, um, who's the founder of Twitter and Square. Uh, and kind of the crazy thing about uh, her concept behind Jack was he's the guy who's changing the world by day through these really like progressive corporations, these progressive ideas. Um, what if he was going back at the end of the night and changing the world through like anonymous? What if he was a hacker? What if he could? Uh, you know, utilize these information systems to change the world. So um, we thought that's actually a pretty heightened, interesting comic book concept. Uh, even if it doesn't lend itself to like action scenes and capes, it's still really interesting and kind of science fiction. And we wanted to look at the, the um, what happens when you put two guys with incredible informational power um, and have them try to use that power for good. Wow. That's something we're definitely interested in. Um, on our channel, we talk a lot about um, web freedom and anonymous and data and information, it is, it is power. It's, it's becoming more and more so. And the free flowing of that information, especially to people who don't have a voice, who can't be heard, is really the key to this. It's about getting communication uh, to the people who need it and doing everything that they can to help the people who do. Um, the the hacker collective that we reference in our in our book isn't anonymous. We we have our own sort of version of it um, that is embodied by our two characters, and it's called Save Yourself. Um, and we sort of it's become a tagline on the back of the book as well. And that's because we we're not looking towards the concept of like Western heroism. This isn't we're coming in and we're giving you freedom. I think that's a really Western centric view, and that's not what we're coming from. What we'd like to do is show how, given the right kind of informational freedom, um, totalitarian governments can't survive. Um, freedom will come out. You can't have oppression in a system where you also have information. And uh, it's a really exciting time. The fact that we get to write about this in comic books is extra exciting, because if it doesn't have a cape or horror tropes or science fiction, it becomes very hard to get it to market. And that's why Alyssa Milano and RK are as awesome as they are. It really relates a lot to um, our current age and our current situation yeah. with communication and data. Um, what was it translating a script over into this graphic form? We have a lot of different location changes and I know work with Marcus, uh, he was really focused on the characters and making them really attractive and like something that people want to invest their time in and just read about these and they're gonna see all the changes over the script and then my job is just to keep everything in line and keep the story moving so uh, Marcus is really good at uh, fashion things as is Alyssa Milano so He's going to be including a lot of that experience into the book and just keeping me in line and making sure I push his vision forward. Very specifically, we wrote into the script, um, there's a back and forth between our Tunisia location and our West Coast location um, over and over. And it's the coloring that we knew would sell it. And when we, we got these colors back from this guy. We were just so excited because it's a slam dunk. We're, um, we're, we're kind of crazy fans of Marcus and Ian like before we got to work with them and then when the opportunity came along and we're, we're still kind of geeking out. We're still fanboys a little bit and, and this is where that comes through. Yeah, Ian, you should be more braggy. <laughs> okay. That's why we loudmouth do it for him. I gotta keep my ego down, right? Yeah. So. How did you collaborate with Alyssa? Uh, was it, did she help you write the script? We or? met with Alyssa a few times um, before we were even sort of signed to do the book and it was really about this idea of um, does her take and uh, and where she wants to go with this book match what we're going to bring to the table? Um, once we were sure that that was the case, once we were sure that the characters that we were looking at and the plot we were looking at were the same, um, Arkea and uh, Alyssa gave us a freedom to go and write the script. And we, we stepped away and we worked on this script and we built it back into a draft form. And then we bring that back, that's a 100 page graphic novel, and Arkea and Alyssa collaborate on that to figure out, all right, how do we refine this? How do we make sure that it's the right move? And so we were really, she was very involved in outline and now she's very involved in script. We've dealt with a lot of producers and a lot of a lot of great producers, but we've also had people you know that really stand over your shoulder and really micromanage. And working with Alyssa, she had the, enough confidence and respect for us to go off and do what we do. And it's out now. Only the ash can is out now. We're showing off this thing at San Diego to really get people excited. There's gonna be a digital release in the fall and then we're gonna be doing a hardcover release next year. So by San Diego next year, one of these beautiful Arkea books on the wall will be hacktivist. Yeah, all right, look for that soon. I really like this, um, this is just such a great story and a great idea and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for talking to me guys. Of course. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs>